Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to be looking at nuclear reaction. We'll continue our study into radioactivity and we are going to look at nuclear nuclear reactions. Alright, so please do not forget to like this video. You know what liking this video will do to make other students to find this video. Abby, you know what made it pass me. Alright, so please click on that like button like button immediately and also do not forget to subscribe to this channel subscription is free is to send notification to your phone whenever we release a new video all right so you can easily follow up with our updates and do not also forget to what to keep sharing these videos to your friends to your loved ones to your class group to your facebook groups okay where what people are preparing for jam examination all right i also recommend all right, our app to what to them all right so please i'm going to go to the o3 school jump app do not forget this video tutorial is sponsored by the old school jump app so let's see a question from the app uh a jump pass question to 2015 number 45 2015 number 45 they said in the reaction below x is x is a uh, given what uh nitrogen plus x because of what oxygen atom then plus what uh a one one what hydrogen that is what a proton okay a they say uh, what is X in the what in that reaction? A, they say lithium atom. B, neutron. C, helium atom. D, deuterium. All right. So we are going to come back to this question and many more after we are done with this class. All right. So please stay put and please get go to Play Store immediately and download the application. The app has all you need to succeed in your exam. Pass question. So no need to buy pass questions. It has classroom feature with lecture notes, structured according to the jam syllabus. So no need to buy textbook or to be carrying the big textbook up and down waiting no good. Then likewise. Questions are feature. We can solve a question according to topic, and then of course we have what the UTME mock challenge that you participate in every Saturday. You win amazing prizes. Get used to pass and likely exam question. And what's more is that what you see your result release every Saturday, and that will build your confidence toward the main exam. No get waiting. You want tell me. So once you use this, use this app, you are sure of what of success if you practice with your heart and your mind. All right. So please download the app from Play Store immediately and activate it. Do not be stingy. Some of you are too selfish to yourself. Do not be stingy. Activate. Pay the activation fee and activate it. All right. So now let's talk about. Uh, let's go to nuclear what reactions. All right. So. When it comes to what nuclear reactions, whenever you see a nuclear reaction, you must you must treat it. Whenever you see a nuclear reaction, you must treat what it as what as a nucleus. All right, you must treat what its species in what in that nuclear reaction as a nucleus or a nuclide. All right, whenever you see what uh, a nuclear reaction, you must treat its species its species its species in that what nuclear reaction as a nuclide. Or as a what? As a nucleus. It is very, very important that you know that first. Okay? So you don't know, you do not treat them as what? As atoms. Okay? You do not treat them as atoms. Atoms. For example, if you have uranium 238 what 92. Okay? That gives us what? Torum uh, 23490, then plus what? Yeah, an alpha particle such as what helium. Okay? If you have this like this, you must treat what? It's PG. It's PG as a nucleus. Okay, you must treat what is pichy, is pichy in this word, nuclear reaction, as a nucleus or as a nuclide, and not as an atom, all right? And not as an atom. And a nuclide, a nuclide is any nucleus, a nuclide is any nucleus in a nuclear reaction, okay, represented by something like this, X, M, C, all right? And what a nuclide is any nucleus, okay, in a nuclear reaction represented by what? X, M, what, uh, X like this, and then M at the top, C, what, at the bottom. Where M here is what? Is the, is what? Is the nuclear mass or the nuclear number, okay? Where M is what? The nuclear mass or we call it what? The nuclear number, okay? M represents what? The nuclear mass or what? The nuclear what? Number and it is the sum of the protons and neutrons in the nucleus of what of what of that what uh of that what uh, nuclide we are talking about okay m is what is the sum of the protons and the neutron okay in the what in the nucleus all right so m is what is the sum the sum of the protons and neutrons okay in the nucleus. You must take note of that, all right? So, uh, that is what M. Why, yes, the C now, the C represents what the charge, 
okay, why the C corresponds what to the what number of what of protons in the nucleus. Okay, it is what it is the charge. C is the charge. C is what the charge, and it corresponds to the what the protons in the what nucleus. All right, so it's as simple as that. So whenever you see what uh, a nuclear reaction, you do not you treat what each species as a nuclide or a nucleus. All right, and say a nuclide is what is a nucleus is is any nucleus in a nuclear reaction that is presented like this. Okay, where M represents the nuclear mass or the nucleon number, which is what the sum of the protons and the neutrons in the nucleus, and then of course C. Okay, is representing what the charge of the nucleus. And correspond to the number of protons in the nucleus. Okay, if you want to find the number of neutrons, all right, in this nucleus. Okay, if you want to find the number of neutrons now, if you want to find the number of neutrons in this what nuclide. All right, what you look for, what you do is what to subtract what to subtract what C from what from M. All right, you subtract C from M. That is neutron number of neutrons number. Of neutrons will be because of what now m minus c. Okay, this is how you can find what the number of neutrons in the what in this what nucleus. Please, you must know all this, so you must know all of these. All right, m is the what nuclear mass or nuclear number. All right, it's the sum of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. C is the charge. Okay, and what so correspond to the what number of protons. Okay, in the what in the nucleus, why the number of neutrons is found by what by subtracting c from m. That is what have what m minus c. Now, to balance a nuclear reaction, okay, to balance a nuclear reaction, there were some things, or there, there is something to what put in mind, all right? There are some rules you do not what you do not break, okay? And number one is that what? Is that the total mass on the left and right hand side must be equal. The, to balance what a nuclear reaction, number one, the total mass on the left and the right hand side must be equal, or should would rather be equal. All right, number one, you so say what the, the total mass on the left and the right, let me just say right hand side, arrow HS, on the left hand side, left LHS, and the arrow HS should be equal. Okay, so if you want to balance what a nuclear reaction, all right, you must put this in mind that the total mass on the left hand side. And on the right hand side should be what should be equal. Then number two, the total charge. The total charge on the left hand side, the total charge on the left hand side. Okay. And the what? And arrow HS should be equal also. Okay. So you must put these two rules at the back of your mind. Number one, the total charge on the left hand side. And the total charge on the right hand side should be equal. So these two rules, all right, do not forget them. All right, so now let us see an example, okay, to, as to end this class. Let us see, and this video is actually going to be very short. Let us see an example. If you have example, uranium 238, okay, 92, to give us, all right, to give us two rows, okay, to give us 234, 90, then plus what? Four two plus an alpha particle. This is an alpha particle. Helium, okay, helium uh, nucleus. Okay, it's an alpha particle. All right. So now, let us see. We have said that what M is what is the nuclear mass. Why this one is what C? It's what the charge. Okay. So it's just like this when we say what M C. For those of us that that would like us to put spoon inside your mouth. Okay. So just see it like this. X M C U. MC. Okay, so this is the mass up here. This one is the charge down here. All right, so please take note of that. Now, so now the mass here on the left hand side, this is the left hand side, this is the right hand side. Left hand side, right hand side. The left hand side and the right hand side. So now the mass on the left hand side, mass, left hand side. Okay, the mass, the mass here is what? It's 238. Okay, but on the right hand side, the mass here is 234 plus 4. That is what? 234 plus 4, which is what? 238 also. Okay? So the mass on what? On the left-hand side is equal to the mass on the right-hand side. That is 234 plus 4, 238. All right? While on the left-hand side, it's what? 238. Okay? So now also, what else? The charge. The charge here on the left-hand side, the charge 
is what is 92. Okay, now let us see the charge on the what on the right hand side. Charge is equal to we have 90 here, we have 2 here, 90 plus 2, which is equal to what 92. This means that all that this nuclear reaction is what is balanced. Okay, this means that this nuclear reaction is balanced. Okay, so these are the two most important things you must keep in mind the total mass on the left hand side and the right hand side should be equal, while the total charge on the left hand side and the right hand side should be equal. All right, so before we end this class, let us go to the O2 school jump up and look at that question. All right, we saw. Uh, at the beginning, all right, and just use it to what to wrap this class up. Okay, so let us go. We're given that uh, in the reaction, this is 2015 45. 2015 45, we're given that in the reaction below, we're given nitrogen 14, 14 year, 7 year, all right, then plus X to give us oxygen 17, 8 year, then plus what? H11, all right. So we have a proton, we have deuteron, we have a tritium. This is what an uh, electrode of, of what of hydrogen. Okay. So uh, uh, let us go. So here now we're giving what the mass here on the left hand side. We say we are told to look for what for the value of x. So what will x be? Okay. So x is what look at m and c here. What is m and c for x? That's what they're asking you in this question. Okay. So let us see. So now this is the total mass here is what is fourteen plus m. All right. On the right hand side. ROHS okay total mass for mass is what 14 plus what plus m ab that is 14 plus m ab then on the left hand side RLHS mass is what 17 plus 1 ab 17 plus 1 now all right so now that means i will say that what that the total mass okay the total mass on the left hand side and the right hand side should be equal that means that what this 14 plus m is equal to what? This 17 plus 1. So 14 plus m is equal to 17 plus 1 is what? It's 18. Abby? All right. So now we can collect like terms. That means 14 will go here. M will remain here. So m is what? 18 minus 14. 18 minus 14 is what? It's 4. That means our m here should be what? Should be 4. Okay? So we're getting what? Our mass. Now let's get the charge. All right. Now, so the charge now also. We know that what? Charge for charge. 7 plus C, that is the charge on the what? On the right hand, on the left hand side. Sorry, oh. this one is left. Oh. Ha, I better go. This is left, left hand side, and this is what? Right hand side. All right, so now on the on the left hand side, the 7 plus C, 7 plus C, one on the right hand side, the charge here yeah, is what? It's 8 plus 1. And the charge, the total charge on the left hand side and the right hand side should be equal. All right, that means that what? That's 7, 7 plus what? C is equal to what now? 8 plus 1. All right, so now uh, collect like them, seven will go that way. That means seven plus C is supposed to nine, and C is what nine minus seven, which is equal to two. That means our value here for C is what is two. All right, now the options the option says the option says A lithium atom, okay, lithium atom, B neutron, C helium atom, D deuterium or atom. And our correct answer there will go will be helium atom because helium has what. Uh, mass number of four and what and charge of what of two H E is helium. All right, so our correct answer here will be what will be helium what atom. Okay, it's as simple as A B C. All right, so please, uh, you have to what get you to this solve more questions so that what you get you get to what to understand what how to what so uh, balance what nuclear reactions. Okay, so I'll see you in the next class. We'll continue our study on radioactivity. Thank you for watching. Keep sharing. Keep liking and drop comment. Drop it. All right, I will see you there.